Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. I hope you enjoy it. In this video, I will show you a game between Viktor Kochnoi and Ivan Sokolov. This game was played in Holland in 1993. Viktor Kochnoi had white pieces and he started at c4, going for English opening. Ivan Sokolov played e5, knight to c3, bishop to b4, knight to d5, attacking the bishop, bishop to c5, e3 intending d4, knight to f6, d4, knight takes on d5, choices, choices, would you capture the knight or the bishop? They say that bishop is a bit more valuable than a knight. So then pawn takes bishop, suggests itself. Kochnoi captured the knight. What happens if pawn takes bishop? If pawn takes bishop, knight to f6, b3, and white has double pawns on c file. It looks like that Kochnoi prefer to have double pawns on d file. E takes on d4. E takes on d4. Bishop to b4 check. Bishop to d2. Queen to e7. Knight to e2. Sokolov castle kingside. Bishop takes bishop. Queen takes bishop check. Queen to d2. To take the queen or to play queen to e7? Sokolo played queen to e7. If queen takes queen, king takes queen, Kochner would be comfortable to play this endgame. We have a queen to e7. White to move. Is a castling queenside safe for white? Kochnoi castled queenside. Black to move. Perhaps d6 would be the best move in the position. But it looks like that Sokolov was impatient. He wanted to punish white for castling the queenside. So with this move, he is trying to open the c file. It makes sense because white king is on the c file. But this is actually a bad move. So black was counting on pawn on something like this. Pawn takes pawn, queen takes pawn. But Kochner played a much better move than pawn takes pawn. The move is Queen to f4, very strong move. This move is much stronger than what it looks. Black to move. Black considered d6. He played knight to a6. If d6, then d takes on c5, d takes on c5, and c file is closed. And white has a pass pawn on d file. So Sokolo played knight to a6, but now d6, attacking the queen, queen to d8, knight to c3. It is now clear that white is standing better. White pawn on d6 is paralyzing black position. Now you can see how playing c5 caused more trouble to black than to white. Actually, it helped white. C takes on d4, queen takes on d4, queen to a5, bishop to d3, knight to c5, attacking the bishop. How to save the bishop? This is a very interesting moment of the game. What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. 
what did you find? Kochnoi found a very interesting square for his bishop. Bishop takes on h7 check. Sokolov was caught by a surprise. King takes bishop. Queen to h4 check. King to g8. White to move. How would you continue to attack if you had white pieces? Knight to d5. Is asking to be played the threat is knight to e7 checkmate. g6 making room for the king. White to move. How would you continue now? The best move is queen to h6, preventing king to g7. Well, black could have resigned. So Kolo played knight to b3 check. Korchnoi even didn't take the knight. He played the king to b1 and black resigned. There is no sensible way to stop knight to e7 or knight to f6. Check. Mate. And let's go back to this very interesting moment of the game. Did you guess? Did you find this bishop sacrifice? If you did, congratulations. And let's go back to move 13. This is the position. Queen to f4 was played. Very strong move by Kochnoi. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you would like with your chess and bye for now.